The daughter of Kim Kardashian and Kanye West covers the new issue of Interview. As one of the publication's six fall cover stories celebrating the magazine's 55th anniversary. Alongside a photo shoot, the precocious child was also interviewed for the mag by her own mom, revealing how she really feels about school, her siblings, and more. Off the bat, North reveals she would love to live inside of a Barbie cartoon, saying it's a good show that she watches every night. Kim used that as an opportunity to share a fun fact about her daughter, revealing North needs the TV on to fall asleep every night something West responded to by interjecting, that's not a fun fact. When asked whether she likes being on camera, North said that while she likes taking photos of herself, she's not as keen on the paparazzi taking pictures of her. When I just woke up and there's so much paparazzi, I'm like, yo, I'm going to sue you, she continued. If I'm ready, if I'm not tired, if my outfit's good, I'm like, okay, I could take a picture. She went on to add that her style icons currently are her father and Tyler, the creator telling her mother she likes streetwear and 90s fashions. North later seemed to catch her mother off guard with her answer when asked about her favorite class in school. I don't like school, she bluntly replied, before her mom asked, what about art class? North then said she does not like art either, getting a, what? Out of Kim, I like art, but my art class is very annoying. My favorite class is probably Latin, the preteen explained. North's faith came up a few times throughout the interview, as she was asked what she likes to do to help others. Spread the gospel. Tell them about God, and how problems get solved if they follow his word and his way, she replied, before bringing up religion again when Kim asked her to share the best day of your life. It was just us and my siblings, and that's when I really brought them close to God, because we had this house and there was these devil statues, and I was like, mmmm, mmm, no, girl, she began, reflecting on a trip to Italy with her father. I was like, we got to pray. So then I taught Chi and Psalm and Saint how to pray. God really did his thing after. Speaking of her siblings, Kim also asked her daughter what she typically does when one of them is annoying her. When they're annoying me, I'll just be like, yo, get out my room. I'm not feeling this, for real, North responded. West also put her mom on blast for not cooking, as Kim asked her daughter how she thinks she fares in the kitchen. You haven't cooked for us in a long time. Last time you cooked was two Halloweens ago, said North, adding that her mom cooked macaroni and cheese at the time, and fried chicken and cornbread. I'm a one-trick pony. Is that one meal good? Kardashian asked, as North said it was, but that she prefers when her mom makes her cucumber and salt, a nod to her love of Japan. Kanye West was investigating the mother of his four children, Kim Kardashian, and the rest of the Kardashian clan, out of suspicion of their links with criminal enterprises, including sex trafficking, per a new lawsuit against the rapper. In the lawsuit filed on October 7 and obtained by People magazine, an anonymous former Yeezy staffer claimed that he hired him as a fixer and subsequently subjected to emotional distress, retaliation, and labor code violations. John Doe claimed that the Grammy-winning rapper, instructed him to look into the Kardashian family and supposed various criminal links he believed they had with criminal enterprises, including sex trafficking. Additionally, the complaint states West had John Doe hire private investigators to secretly follow and tail his wife Bianca Sensori during her solo trip to Australia to visit family. The Michigan-based plaintiff alleges that his role involved fixing various issues for West, which included handling lost or stolen items and dealing with unpaid services. The complaint also mentions an incident in May 2024, when West reportedly laid off several Yeezy employees and allegedly began displaying erratic behavior. The plaintiff, who is a military veteran suffering from PTSD, further claims West threatened him with violence and death after he attempted to report child abuse allegations at West's Donda Academy.